all, but kind of want to shoot something ridiculous. Ah, that's more like it. <laughs> hey guys, so do you guys have that one buddy? He's a real good guy, but you know he just ain't quite right. Well, that's pretty much the same thing as the Heritage Bunt line. <laughs> this thing's a lot of fun. Check it out with me. First, before we get started, don't forget to check out our friends over there at Workaday Custom Gun Leather, custom made to order. Go ahead and check them out. The Heritage Bunt line is the 16 inch version of Heritage Manufacturing's Colt Single Action Army. A lot of people will look back to the old Batman movie from 1985 with the Joker and they'll see this gun. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty similar. But actually, these things have been around for a long time. Uh, supposedly, Wyatt Earp had a long bunt line like this. Without having the research in front of me, you know, offhand, I can't confirm nor deny, but I've seen pictures, but, you know, look for yourself. I mean, Google's out there. But anyway, this thing's a lot of fun. Uh, so Heritage decided, before they put the rancher out there, to put a 16-inch barrel on one of their single-action armies, <laughs> and it's, it's a lot of fun. There's a couple different models. Uh, this one still has the standardized sights, the notch cut out with the fixed front sight. So I'm curious how this thing's gonna shoot at some distance. You can interchange between the 22 Magnums and the 22 Long Rifle in it. Today I'm just gonna mess around with the 22 Long Rifle. Uh, I just didn't feel like going through all that fuss. But we can always follow up with the 22 Magnums. But anyway, so standing here at 25 yards, <laughs> it's not loaded. Uh, before anybody throws a fuss, but I'm standing here at 25 yards. Let's go ahead and give it a couple shots on the steel, see how it does. All right, first things first, you gotta load it up. So, like most single actions, you gotta put it on the half cock, open up that loading gate, and then you gotta load them one by one. So, today, because ammo is getting kind of limited, I happen to come across uh, some CCI mini mags. I don't normally use these, I prefer the, uh, the lead heads. But you gotta work with what you got, I guess. So, these are actually gonna travel a little bit faster. So they're higher velocity, obviously. Lighter bullet, right? And we'll see how they do standing at 25 yards. So, 25 yards for a 22 long rifle pistol seems kinda steep, right? Well, it's got this long 16 inch barrel. It better be able to shoot that. Let's give it some shots. That long 16 inch barrel gets a little bit heavy after a while. <laughs> the balance is kind of weird on it. Uh, I'm kind of curious how it was doing down there. Okay, that's how we did standing. So one, two, three, four, five. And I think that one down there hit low. So dealing with that <laughs> that weird balance on there, uh, standing at 25 yards, the elevation's pretty good on most of it, but just the lack of balance really throws you off. So let's put up the shooting sticks and see how we do. Well, aside from that being a bit of an awkward shooting position, I think it did pretty good. So let's go check it out. Looking at a pretty similar result. Looks like it drifted down to the right a little bit. Holding open a little bit. So that's, that's okay. The sights are not very good at this range, I wouldn't say, but you gotta make do with what you got. So that's not terrible, I guess. Uh, <laughs> the gun's not handy at all. Loading it up's kind of a pain, unless you just kind of like throw it under your arm like that and then load it. But 
Uh, takes a little bit of getting used to. So still at 25, even though it's patterning halfway decent at this range, especially given that it's 22s, uh, it's just about that long barrel. I set out a couple cans and I got those swingers out there. So we'll get them a couple shots. <laughs> it's so weird focusing on that sight. Unless you're used to this kind of thing, <laughs> shooting unsupported is uh, its a bit of a chore. It's super awkward and getting the sights lined up is, is kind of difficult because you're constantly dealing with, the, uh, with that barrel just being so long. Well, apparently, I did okay with the swingers. I don't think I even touched these, but I got the middle one. All right, guys, well, that's that. This thing's a goofy bastard. <laughs> uh, this is the kind of gun that you walk into the gun store, you see it sitting on the shelf, and you go, well, I want to get that. But, <laughs> uh, Call this thing a tack driver, that'd be a bit of a stretch, even with that long barrel. But who knows, maybe it just takes a little bit of getting used to. And uh, yeah, I could revisit this thing, but that's just first shot at it. Uh, taking out a 25 to play with it a little bit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and make sure you holler out in the comments for anything else you want to see. Until next time.